Well, guess who's living on, in the little cave under the stone arch? Wild goats. They're my old friends. They live in my cave all the time. Soon as, if, if I'm not there, straight in. Whole families of them go in there. <clears throat> Wild goats. They're puzzled. They rarely see a human being. It's like, what's he doing here in our, you know, hideaway? Uh, and they, they calmly walk away, you know, like a cat, you know, with an attitude. You know, it's like, you know, I'm not going to run away from you, but, you know, you don't smell that good. I can just walk away. But they keep turning their heads back at me and gazing. Um, and they become my animal spirit guides. Hey, they seem to know where they're going. I'll just follow the goats. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, follow them. Mm -hmm. Follow those shaggy free beasts. Until I emerge... Uh, on the plateau below my cave. Now I know exactly where I am. <laughs> I am home free. Well, at the cave entrance, I turn around, look back at Ogio Nicolas, the Bay of St. Nicholas, below my feet, and realize, straight up, as an elder, I have lost the refuge of my youth hmm. forever. <laughs> it makes me shudder. Mushrooming of Mediterranean flash villas, swanky hotel lording over the Bay of St. Nicholas. Any boorish tourist, I'm sorry, like a, a British Soccer hooligan on a two-week charter flight. Liverpool, Athens, Rose. <laughs> They're sitting in their chair by the pool of the hotel, which is called Lindo's Memories. <laughs> Lindo's Trashed Memories. And they're watching an old man limping up a path, a goat track to somewhere. Well, mercifully, this is way off season. And the coast is clear. Oh, yeah. And uh, I am a Buddhist who abides in bliss. So rising above my self-created emotional story, <laughs> the simple truth is, this is a stellar day for my cave exploration. Hmm. The textured Greek island light, ideal for photography. Oh. Weather ideal. Rested from my Journey from San Francisco. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh-huh. And uh, the Bay of St. Nicholas, shimmering mm -hmm. below. Mm -hmm. I get my spiritual groove back. Among the rocks strewn uh, around the cave entrance, I remove my hiking shoes and socks, rub my aching feet, and notice that from Lindos Plaza to my cave has taken me two hours, one way. <laughs> Twice as long as in my youth. I take a deep breath. Oh. The goddess within me and I are so proud to have fulfilled our pilgrimage. Good going, Earthy. 
Mm. Okay, entering the cave after 30 years. Uh, the spiritual seeker must squeeze into the vagina of Gaia with his whole human body. Quite a fun image if you're a guy. Just get in there with your whole body. <laughs> and, you know, from the cave, outside the cave, to where it opens up inside into the first chamber, is seven meters thick. Wall membrane. <laughs> yeah. Separating the outer world in the, within cave sacred space. Yeah. Buffers the meditator from any distractions, sounds. I mean, I could shout in the old days as loud as I could with my voice. No one could hear me. There's no humans out there. And I could primal scream my ass off if I wanted to. And nobody, now, you know, it's like, whoops. Um, yeah, no propaganda from the outside world can get to the meditator or attacks, dark forces attacking you, making you doubt yourself, make you lose faith in your spiritual dream. You, they can't get to you, and, you know. Oh, no. Because the meditator is within and way within the body of the earth goddess planet. Mm -hmm. I was the most protected meditator in Western civilization. And I was guided to find this cave. I set out to find it. It wasn't a mistake of discovery from tracking or anything. I was spiritually guided to find this sacred spot. Mm -hmm. And my fetal soul naturally, naturally gestated within this healthy womb, the womb of an elephant, the Ganesh elephant. I'm in the womb of the elephant. Well, my eyes start to adjust. I don't turn my headlamp on. I just like to see the natural light. And as they adjust to the dim light, oh, I see my massive bed platform, queen-size bed platform, still solidly intact. What? And there is my old umbrella leaning against the cave wall exactly where I left it 30 years ago. 